Ever since I can remember, I don't know, I've, I've been dancing. Um, I was in my first competition at three years old. I have been competing my entire life. I love just the whole feel of the stage and the lights and, you know, just the, the pressure, I guess, you know, it gets to you, but it's, it's fun. The roots of Irish dance run deep. For centuries, the steps have been passed from generation to generation. If there is a gene for dance, these women have it. Christina Ronham is a champion dancer, ranked 16th in the world. Her sister, Elisa, has gone pro, touring internationally with the Trinity Irish Dance Company. Both sisters trace their talent back to their mother, Patty Ann, and grandmother, Anne Healy. Since the early 1900s, the Healy family has taught traditional Irish dance in San Francisco. Your grandfather. Yes, my grandfather came out from Ireland, and he was born in Kilcorny, Cork, and he brought out the step dancing, he taught his family, and he taught his friends, and his, some of his neighbors, and, uh, and he... my dad, of course, continued on with the dancing. As a young girl, Anne helped her father teach his dance classes eventually opening her own studio. Over the years, her students have won top prizes in competitions all over the world. And today, her daughter and granddaughters are carrying on the tradition. All right, girls, let's start with some springs, okay? We're gonna start bouncing in place for about 16 bars, up high on those tippy toes, and then pushing in the air for six counts. Push. Tonight, we're gonna be seeing a preliminary and open championship level class. These are children that have been dancing since they were probably around four years old, and they're very hard workers. And you're gonna see some great dancing. Eight. Heels together, toes out, get your left toe out, Sheila. Girls, the feet stay in a V. Irish dancing is physically demanding. It didn't used to require the endurance and the stamina that it takes now. And a lot of what you'll see tonight in the beginning of our class is focused on building stamina. Katie, close your two, three. Girls, close your two, three. One kick out, one kick out. When I watch the kids dance, I mean, I'm constantly on them for posture, keeping their shoulders back, their arms in, and standing straight, basically looking like they're not moving. From here up, they're not moving at all. It's just their legs. Cut. Where do cuts go? To the hip. Do they go to the knee? The level of concentration tonight is intense. Three days from now, the Healy School will be competing in the annual San Francisco Fetch, an event that draws some of the best talent from across the state. One of the most serious students here is 16-year-old Megan Anderson. Like any dancer with dreams of making it to the top, Megan has given up her social life and after-school activities, coming to the Healy's studio up to four times a week and practicing two hours a day at home. She has dedicated herself to Irish dancing. She's always practiced and tried hard and worked hard and she's always been like at the regional competition she's always been there she's gotten fifth about four year four or five years in a row and this year she won first place but getting to the worlds takes more than hard work and practice 13 years of lessons shoes and costumes are adding up to a considerable investment for megan's parents Six, seven, eight years I think we've been doing Wednesday nights. Doing work is how I uh, support Megan's habit and her love for, love for the dance. Tonight, Megan is fighting a cold, but that doesn't seem to affect her confidence about her chances this weekend. Uh, dancing takes a lot of endurance, and to get that endurance, you just have to practice over and over. And like I got through my dances, and I still had some more energy, so that was good. Over. Everybody, good luck at the fesh this weekend. Um, yeah, we'll see you there, okay? Hi, Mrs. McManus.
Rachel Mills and Bridget Fogarty from, from the Healy Dance School, and uh, they're both championship level dancers, and they danced in their championship this morning, which is with the solo costumes, and then they're also doing figures, which is, this is our school costume. So, um, as you can see, when we do figure dancing, it's all group dancing, um, twos, threes, fours, sixes, and eight hands, and uh, all the kids wear the exact same costume. And so um, this, it, the embroidery, it's a design from the Book of Kells uh, a long time ago, and we've just, we've, oh, we've always had it. You'll see today, the costumes are bright, they're colorful, there's sequins everywhere, they've got big wigs, big headpieces. You want the judges' first look. You, know, you want them to notice you first, even before you start dancing. The judges at this year's fish come from around the globe. Over the weekend, they'll watch nearly a hundred rounds of competition. Well, we're looking for children that are dancing on time with the music, uh, children who uh, carry themselves in a very relaxed manner, so they're not moving their shoulders or their body at the time that they're dancing. as a dancer that when I would be a teacher I wouldn't be nervous and it's not like that at all it's you know it's every time that one of your kids comes out you're like oh oh I hope they do well you know so the next big thing is uh, Megan Anderson's championship so uh, we're hoping that hoping that she'll, she'll do well she's over there getting ready putting on her wig and makeup and stuff and yeah that's the next next thing we're waiting for <laughs> this is the pit crew side of the uh, the art that's right. It's good to get started. I've been here since 11.30, so it's good to finally get this going. Okay, you set. I'm going to check zipper and back. Okay, I'll come see you before you go. <laughs> good luck. <laughs> Break a leg. <laughs> Not really. <laughs> Not really. <laughs> because of the sheer number of competitors, solo dancers perform two at a time. Megan is dancing a near-perfect performance when the unthinkable happens. It looked to me like the two of them did a blind turn, and then she just turned around and they just ran into each other. And it happened to be at the high point of her kick, which really hit her foot and injured her. Something that happens, you know? It's part of dancing. Hardships. I'll be back for the next fest. I'll be back for Worlds. It, it happens. And in first place, age 22. <laughs> You know, for because they know they know her and they know how hard she works, and yeah, it was nice that she was able to receive something. That's good. Stop. It's quite a feeling to see somebody that you walked into your studio and didn't know how to do anything, and then watch them progress to that champion level. The best thing, yeah, it's just passing it on to them and seeing them get excited about Irish dancing. Because I, I, you know, we want to keep it alive, keep the tradition alive. Mm -hmm.